Okay, so now we're going to change the color of a um, paper flower. Obviously, it's a white flower. You want to make it your own color, of course. Not a problem. Very, very, very easy. Um, I'm just using um, my Colorbox pigment brush pad. Uh, this one's the Raven Black. Also have the Olive Pastel. Very pretty color, I think. I'm going to use my Flourish stamp again. I just really, really like the look that it has on the flowers once you stamp it. Um, and my Pearl Essence watercolors yet again. So, obviously I'm using all the same stuff, just a different ways. Well, kind of. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ink my flower. And again, it's just a little white flower, paper flower, and we're just going to ink it up. You want to brush it on, you want to just stamp it, that's fine, whichever way makes you happy. I don't think it really matters. It just all depends. Play around, see what happens. See what kind of look you get. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do my pearl essence now before I stamp. I'm going to do my stamping last. And I want to use this, oops, where are we at? This green color here. I really like this color and I think it matches really well with the um, olive pastel that we colored the stamp with. And again, the best trick I learned in the world is if you don't want a really dark, dark, heavy color, what you want to do is you just want to get your wet brush, kind of load it up with the paint, and then carry it over to its matching partner lid over here. Okay? Just like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint my flower. And I don't want it too dark. I just want a very small hint, but I think I got a lot on that one. It's alright. And <laughs> I really like that look. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Now, if you want to kind of change it up just a little bit, make it just a tiny bit different, very, very easy. Stamp up, or ink up, <laughs> sorry, your stamp. And just go to town. Look at that. Is that not the coolest thing in the world? I love this. Obviously, it's a new technique I learned just recently. thought I'd give it a shot and play around, and I'm totally loving it. But there you go. A little bit of glimmer. Isn't that cool? To go from plain old white to this cool, cool flower. I mean, really, how much better can you get than that? And then the other thing that I wanted to do just to kind of give it a little bit more oomph is I'm going to use this color box, another one, uh, the chestnut brown. Or is that what that's called? Chestnut root, I think. And I'm just going to do the edges of the petals in the brown. And as you see, I'm lifting the other petal because if I don't, what's going to happen is that I'm going to get ink everywhere. And it's not going to be where I want it. I just want it on the edges. I don't want it anywhere else. <laughs> there you go. It's all done. Now you want to let this sit and you want to let it dry for a little while because it is paper. And you did just use watercolors and ink. So it's still kind of wet. But you just let it dry. And then you can use it on your page. Just use a nice little brad in the center or a button or whatever you like. That's it. There you go. I hope that tutorial helped you out. And let me know how it works out for you. And if you have anything better or a better technique, by all means, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know. 
Thanks.